Now, chirality of molecules without stereogenic center. Up till now, in previous video, we have seen if there is stereogenic center or chiral carbon present in the molecule, and if elements of symmetry not present, then that molecule can show optical activity. But here we are discussing such molecule which are not having stereogenic center or even chiral carbon that molecules can even show optical activity these molecules are having molecular chirality so what is that molecular chirality and why these molecules can show optical activity that we are going to discuss in this video there are certain examples certain alenes biphenyls or spiral can show optical activity if there is a molecular chirality the whole molecule is dissymmetric then that molecules can show optical activity here i am taking first example that is stereochemistry of alenes to understand optical activity of alenes we must know first of all its structure here these alene or cumuline means what there is a cumulated system of double bond cumulated means what just like this one after another one after i mean continuous double bonds present that is called alene so here first look here where two double bonds means even number of double bonds present if you look at the structure of this alene where even number of double bonds present here terminal carbons are sp2 hybridized that means geometry is trigonal planar and the middle carbon is sp hybridized which is linear now <coughs> to consider pi system you can see here these this pi actually this pi bond is present in one plane and this pi bond which is between these two carbon is present in another plane actually this is perpendicular to the first one and one more thing whatever groups are attached here at the terminal carbons are not in one plane if you consider this kind of situation you can see these two are in one plane and this this is behind the plane and this is above the plane it is like tetrahedral carbon it is like tetrahedral carbon and even because of double bonds that rotation between carbon carbon single bond is restricted so if different groups are attached at the terminal carbons this molecule can form non superimposable mirror image and if it is forming non superimposable mirror image it is said that this molecule is a chiral molecule means it has molecular chirality and this molecule can show optical activity so try to understand its structure properly i have the model of simple alene first alene now see uh you can look at at this model these two terminal carbons right see this is one double bond which is present in, in this plane and this is another double bond which is actually perpendicular to this plane actually four groups here this group this group are atoms this group or this group are atoms are not in one plane if even number of double bonds present they are if you look here if you watch here this molecule it is like a tetrahedral carbon it is like a tetrahedral carbon so because of that if different groups are attached here at the terminal carbon this molecule can form can show or can form non superimposable mirror image and this molecule you can say is a chiral molecule this molecule can show optical activity now uh, i have given here one more example where i have taken odd number of double bonds odd 1 2 3 you can even uh, take more number of double bonds here you can see this double bond and this double bond between these two carbon and these two carbon are in one plane these two double bonds are in one plane here two double bonds are perpendicular to each other and you can look here at the terminal carbons whatever groups or atoms are attached here they are either uh, one is behind the plane and one is above the plane which is just like alkene so the alene or cumuline having odd number of double bonds cannot show optical activity it can show geometrical isomerism geometrical isomerism means 
it can show cis and trans it can show cis and trans isomerism if similar groups are attached to the same side that is cis and similar groups are attached to the opposite side that is trans so again listen carefully aline with odd number of double bonds cannot show optical activity it can show a geometrical isomerism that is cis trans isomerism so you can reject that molecule at once uh, when you are considering it as a optical active or not now here uh, that i think this is clear i have given here four examples one more point i want to clear before i go ahead so i have shown here four different groups but it is not necessary only two different groups that's it if two different groups are there at the terminal carbon and you repeat that group here that molecule even can show optical activity that molecule can form non superimposable mirror image that is given here see here only two different groups attach at the terminal carbon so this is optically active but in uh, here also two different groups only two different groups here three different groups or four different groups here three different groups 1 2 and 3 so at least two different group must be there at the terminal carbon for optical activity and what is required even number of double bond should be there in the aline or cumuline then that is optically active if odd number of double bonds present or if all groups are similar groups or atom attach that cannot show optical activity you can reject that molecule at once so this is all about stereochemistry of alines particularly optical activity of uh, alines thank you